Okay, so we're coming to the end of our chapter four and I have worked the rows in the granny square and I'm now currently finishing the half treble of the frost blue, well, mauve in my case, but in your case, if you're using the original colourway, it will be your um, frost blue. So I'm just finishing off this section now and then we're going to work in that last row of a treble back post. Just finishing off there with a slip stitch as we always do in all of our rows. Let's just cut that nice tail nice and long. There we go. So as you can see, we've worked um, our moss. Well, this is what we've worked on so far in chapter four. We've created our um, first set of back posts in the first row of this chapter, which was row 36, if I'm correct. Then we've worked our bobble stitch working into the reverse side of our blanket to create this lovely raised area. Then we've worked our half trebles. One, two, three, four, four rows there. And then we've worked our moss stitch, which has then given us the chain space to work our granny squares. And then we've done them in alternative um, colourways. Again, finishing off in the frost blue. And we're going to start working on our back post, which is the last row of chapter four getting us ready for chapter five, which is where we'll be working in our cupcake border. Um, so hopefully that'll all come around pretty quick for us to work on. Um, I'm just going to go through some, you know, checking and this, that and the other, as I always do. And we shall have everything on the blog ready for you. So if you are watching this and wondering what on earth they keep talking about this free blog, make sure that you check the... Um, the comments, sorry, the description below, we have all of our links um, to our blog, to our patterns and to our social media sites. You can then find the free pattern and join us and um, create the cherry bakewell pattern. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to finish off my back post border, um, which is the same as, so we're basically finishing the way we started on this particular chapter with a back post. So you already have that at the very beginning of this video. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and do it again um i'm just going to finish it off ready for next week so a couple of things to do really for next week oh not next week next chapter scratch that next chapter which will come out in a couple of weeks is do a little bit of housekeeping weaving your tails and just make sure you're ready to go so at least then when you do come to finish you haven't got a big upheaval of tying in all those ends um so yeah, I hope you're looking forward to chapter five. It's going to be quite exciting. So if you are finding it frustrating, take your time. As I've said multiple times in the video and within the blog, take your time. There is no rush. You do not have to pressure yourself in order to finish this video. Um, this Sorry, this video, this blanket. Um, it's about enjoyment and you should be enjoying it. It shouldn't be something that is making you feel overwhelmed and overstressed. So take your time um, and just work your way through it. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you in chapter five. So good luck, everybody. Have a great time. And we can't wait to see your pictures. Please make sure that if you want to join our group, you can post your pictures there. Show us your progress so far. If you're struggling with anything, obviously, we, as a group, we can help you together. So um, yeah, there you go. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.